Well, it's time to find out just who the general manager of the Aftershock show is going to be. A Wait a minute! Hold up! Oh, it's not just one, but three general managers! And they're girls! But they're not just any girls! No! This is April, Chloe, and Destiny, collectively known as the Babes in Business. Damn, I am just shocked right now. This is exciting. Hey. Hey, I'm just gonna bow out for a few minutes and let these three lovely ladies take the stage. Man, I'll tell you guys, seeing it's a major surprise seeing the babes in business here in BYU. Seriously. Hey, I'll tell you what, I wouldn't mind working for those three lovely girls. Oh, from the way they made their business case, hey, it sounds like they're definitely going to be the opposite of what the A gay stands for. But anyway, it's main event time. Hey, it's the main event of one crazy ass show we had so far, and here's Vincent, the World Heavyweight Champion, and he's sporting a new pair of shades just for this occasion. Listen to this reaction from these fans. Tell you what, Vincent, one of the biggest crowd favorites here in BYU, is now wearing the gold after defeating Big D at Dynasty. Oh, he's going outside the ring for a second. <laughs> well, how about that? He just gave his new pair of shades to some kid in the crowd. That's generous for you. Now, I, I, I'm I, going to assume this is a non-title match. Because really, wait, what, what has Raph done to earn a title shot lately? I don't think he's done anything. So yeah, Raph is on his way out here. And he's got a new look, apparently. A lot of guys here debuting a new look. Man, I'll tell you. But yeah, it's been one crazy night so far. Er, the Angel Boys retain the tag team title. We get introduced to the Ass Kisser. Er, I mean the AK. I hope I don't get fired for that. <laughs> and Cadaverous made his debut in convincing fashion. Booby he continues to impress and depress. Ashley Dunn proved why he was a human highlight reel as these two are about ready to go at it. And the babes in business. Shocked the hell out of me as the bell rings. This thing's underway and Vincent already on the move. Right now, Vincent wasting a little time here, but whoa! Oh man, I thought Rav might have had him there for a second, but Vincent just, he's just full of surprises. There's a standing moonstone. And now Vincent, oh, he's got a cradle, but nah. Of course, wow, oh, Rath just tried to snap his elbow right there. Whoa! Elbow to the face! Great arm drag! See? Whoa! Take a look at this! Whoa! Impressive! Nice face plan! And Vincent, I gotta tell you, I think his skills are almost on parallel with that of Ashley Dunn! And then, whoa! Again, he just psyched him out! Vincent now! Great move right there, using Rath's legs as elevation for a springboard leg drop. That's what I, that's what I'm talking about with ingenuity in the part of Vince. Oh, poor Rath, he's just the latest. 
And now Wrath. Oh, and Wrath just took the took the took a long bust off a of short pier. Ah! Flipping Centon over the top by Vincent. But I think he might have might just hurt himself a little on the way. Upon contact. And Wrath trying to capitalize. Great neck breaker right there. On the hard floor. And now Wrath. Oh, don't tell me he's thinking about the steel stairs. Come on! Oh! Oh, and he slams the champ's face! He's right here. Now he just went over to Donkey Kong Part 2. Ah! And Wrath, I tell you, he's a he's one bad MFer in this company. And, although there was a nicely done arm drag, and ah, Vincent got sent into the crowd barricade. I suggest you people in the front row get back. And Wrath was unloading with those right hands, and you can see him just continuing his assault right here, but. But, oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. Come on! Oh, face first! He hits the crowd barricade with authority. And Wrath just shoots him back inside. Oh. Wrath now. Oh, trying to pace himself a little bit, which is probably not a bad idea. And now he's down up into a backbreaker. And the world champ is now reeling. And now he's just continuing that assault. Oh. Upon contact with that turnbuckle. And now Wrath has setting up shoots him in again. And then now Wrath, what's he gonna do here? Oh! Clothesline! That one was impactful and well executed. Now he's got a camel clutch locked in. Will he make the world champion tap? I don't think so. Well, I gotta tell you, he's got a lot of resilience. Since he just tripped him up. Oh, but now Vincent... Oh, right on the head! With that backdrop suplex. And Vincent now... He wants, he's going to start getting serious, as, as you can quite tell. Oh, and he's hooking him up. This might be, this might be a suplex. Oh. And now Vincent, then going for cover here. This could be it. But no. No, oh, the world champ could not keep him down long enough. Oh, but he's, oh, wait, look out. Bam. Bam. Fantastic bulldog headlock out of the corner post, and that could be it. No. Vincent could not keep him down long enough. Um, and now he's going to try for a cradle here. Ever persistent is the world champion. Didn't quite get him, but he's making him waste energy. And he just hits a massive DDT. He, he made him expel a lot of energy. Kicking out of those pinfall says that oh wait a minute! The invincible! There it is! The invincible! He hits it to precision! Vincent goes for the cover! One, two, three! This one is over! The world champion Vincent, via the invincible, picks up the win over Wrath here on BYU. Impressive display by the champ. Well, ladies and gentlemen, We'll see you next time on BYU. Heading into Thursday Night Mayhem, baby! Woo!